<laughs> Game of the Year picks 2024, baby. Let's do it. Okay. Um, do we want to go through like what so far our Game of the Years are? Or uh, the reason why I said current playthrough, I think we should include games that we decided to pick up this year and play and what we really enjoyed. It doesn't have to be games that came out this year. Honorable mention, I'll go first. Since you brought up Persona, Persona 3 Reload. It is a game that came out this year. It was a game that got me into the Persona franchise. And I think it was a great uh, uh, story. And it had amazing gameplay. And 160 hours later, it was. it's probably one of the deepest stories I've ever gotten into. And... Although it's not, it's technically a remake from a game that came out in 2009. I don't think remakes of games should be in the Game of the Year conversation. Because that's lazy, in my opinion. I want an original shit that wins Game of the Year. So Final Fantasy Rebirth apparently is in the fr like lead leading cause of the Game of the Year. I think that's bullshit. It should be a new IP or a new game with a fresh story. That wins game of the year. But anyways, yeah, honorable mention, it's definitely uh, up there for me, but I would not vote for it for game of the year. What are your game of the year picks? Then? Are, are you going to keep going? Or Oh, I, I, I wanted to see if you guys had one, like maybe an honorable mention or like a thought. I'm trying to see. Because um... I don't think you guys want to hear my actual game of the year pick. Is it NCAA? He's saying, was that a yes? Sorry. Yeah, it's a yes. <sighs> anyway. To be honest, the best game I've played this year has been College Football 25. I think it is light years ahead of what Madden has been doing in the past. EA, uh, it, it wasn't even the team of EA. EA had then acquired them brought them in and worked on college football as its own experience. The team that worked on college football took so much time and resources trying to get every single school's atmosphere right. The bands are all unique to the schools. The uniforms are continuously all throughout the season have been adding new uniforms into the game for free. Uh, so many like, classic game modes that were in the old games or in this one and i just felt i felt like there were next to no bugs the thing with madden games was when it first launched there were a ton of bugs these the bugs that i've encountered were slight and didn't really affect gameplay but i think it was like definitely one of the best games i played and i love college football i like it more than the nfl but the nfl was madden was the only football game i had access to college football is uh something i was looking forward to for a while and i think they hit it out of the park so far that is my game of the year winner for me can't use a baseball pun talking about football but uh, anyway, they whatever. threw it out of the stadium i don't know well that would just be an incomplete um it was a hail mary okay there we go. We'll go you could have said one. kicked it out of the stadium, like. But that would right there. Uh, okay. Field goal. Out that kind of the sounds like soccer too. FIFA. Are you saying that uh, soccer should be called football? No. What kind of crap is that, man? <laughs> I think it would make more sense for football to be called soccer. And soccer be called football. How about I sock you? Whoa. Adrian, want to go next, Mo? Adrian? I, Adrian? Want to go next, Mo? Elden Ring. Well, obvious. Oh, okay. So are you saying base game Elden Ring? Or because we are doing like games that came well, out? Well, he whenever. technically really picked it. He played it yeah, a little bit. That's what I'm saying. kind of late, yeah. Yep. He really picked it up this year, though. I was also going to bring up Remnant 2. That didn't come out this year, but we played it this year. And oh, had that's a lot of fun with it. Yeah, I sent you guys a shit ton of videos. 
about Remnant too. Like, there's a bunch of stuff yeah. that is out. It's hidden. I didn't know there was a whole bunch of shit to find. The the one about having to like dig in a bunch of different spots to find some shit. How? How are you well, supposed to know? Do you figure that out? Do you just go around digging in fucking spots? That is crazy. I mean, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> data mining is probably how they find it. But. Yeah. Okay, go back to uh, Elden Ring though. What? Why? Why Elden Ring? Or is it Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree? Both, I guess. Since I got into both this year, it's, it's fucking Elden Ring. I mean, like, all that. Okay. Yeah. I, it's it's I, definitely it's a great the, game. I love I love playing Elden Ring. Probably the game of the decade. Some would say. I would game of the century for sure. Mm. For the price that I've paid for, like mm. pre-orders or like deluxe editions, I paid for just Elden Ring and the DLC, and it's been way better. Any of them. got your money's worth, some would say. Absolutely, I will say honorable mention. Probably, honestly, Lies of P. Okay, because it is a good game. It's actually pretty fun. It's challenging. Um, this whole story behind Pinocchio and stuff, and the idea behind like lying and telling the truth and all that, like, it's interesting. Oh. It's an interesting story. Hearing things like, oh, like maybe the puppet master really isn't evil. Maybe Trepetto's the evil one. But no. Yeah. It, it's it's a good story. Mm-hmm. It's very smooth gameplay. I mean, the dodge <clears throat> not the dodge, the jump is stupid. Because it's like a jump and then it's like a tiny ass jump. And then as soon as you land, it's like a roll. Like, you don't have to roll. You just jump, like, two feet forward. Maybe. Like, it's kind of stupid. The dodging is... It's not like Elden Ring, where, like, you, like, fucking, like, dodge, roll, shoot. No, it's kind of like sidestep in and, like, some dodge rolls. It's kind of like Sekiro, but, maybe. Where it's not like kinda, very yeah, a little aggressive bit. dodge, you're just kind of like, boop, boop, boop. yeah, the dodging isn't too aggressive. There is a, a big thing on like countering and stuff. I don't do that a lot, as as often. I'm not. I don't do counter like parrying or counter countering a lot in games. I don't do it in Elden Ring. I don't do it in uh, Space Marine a lot. I don't do it in uh, Lies of P that much. But that's the thing. Uh, I don't know. It just—it's a really good game, and I got—I got to re-download it and play it again, or re, mm-hmm. re- start playing through it again because I didn't finish. <clears throat> I'm gonna get to piggyback off that uh, honorable mention. I uh, Remnant Two was a lot of fun. I every once in a while when I'm like still like kind of on by myself, I'm like, ah, don't really know what to do. I'll just go in. I'll just kill some British people. Um. It gives me a satisfaction. Kill the that. intruder! Exactly. Kill the stranger. Yeah. Kill the stranger! It just gives me a satisfaction that just takes me back to uh, 1774. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. My sweet um, teeth frozen. And um, that's why we don't have beans and toast today, and I will thank the Lord for that every day. Mm-hmm. Um, but you guys probably have been able to guess what my 2024 pick is even though i will agree that like i'm really stoked when they start really doing some more deep dives because i saw a lot of places where the devs weren't expecting this game to be that big so now they're they have a whole bunch of stuff they're starting to add now it's like we we could really make this into something great um and you know um that game is Warhammer Space Marine 2. Now, if you want to, like, the TikTok people, if you want to make that into an edit, where it's like, Warhammer 22. <laughs> Jump in at the show! <laughs> and there's, like, a whole, like, bunch of, like, scenes of the, the game that are sweet and brutal. You can do that. 
they give you. Um, I like the edits; they're fun. Um, but yeah, dude, I'm probably gonna still save because, like, as I have shown my little mini, like, it's catapulted me into a whole new realm of nerdum. I didn't think I could ever get to. Um, I have like a whole like you guys can't you might seal some of it, but dude, like my paint, I have a whole paint station here, and um, it's very it's like super fun to me. I'll throw on some show in the background, you know, like Trigon, Archer, throw them on the background. Um, while I just paint, dude, it's a great time. I have so much fun. My sip on some wine, have a little fun, and yeah, dude, it's like I've gotten into the lore, and I just see how this grim, dark science fantasy like why it's lasted like in a cult classic kind of way since 1987. It's awesome. It is just like amazing. So yeah, man, I'm going to go with uh, Warhammer. As, that's your, my 20... as your official 2024. I would as say of right so. now. Yeah. Because I mean, really, I haven't really played a whole lot of like new games. Mm-hmm. Ben Davlin and Roblox. I've been terrible on a Roblox. You've been way insane. Way robot. I've been terrible on a Roblox. But besides that, dude, That's like I have, like I haven't picked mean. up like a new game. It's like the classics, like like Elden Ring, um, Fortnite. Uh, we you know. we dove into No Man's Sky a little bit, dude. Yeah, No Man's Sky. But we played it before, and we picked yeah. it up. That was a lot. That game's so good too. Mm-hmm. Come a long honorable way. Honorable mention. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I, I will also say honorable mention because I didn't even get to play it until this year. Phantom Liberty Cyberpunk. Just such an insane addition to an already very improved and well deserved game that came out in twenty twenty. But uh the, the DLC definitely put it over the top. And I played it this year. So I would say honorable mention because it's a DLC. I'm not gonna throw it in. I am looking. There's a ton of new games coming out though that honestly I feel like can change my mind. Have you guys seen Throne, Throne and Liberty? Oh yeah, dude, the RPG, MMO mm-hmm. RPG. Mm-hmm. Is it? Is that out yet? It's coming out. I've been seeing ads for it on Xbox. There's that one I want to check out. Um, what's it? Um, I, something time. Oh, what is it called? Crimson Desert. I do want to check out. Um, uh, Metaphor. I was telling you guys about uh, same people that made uh, Persona games, but they are coming out with like a new IP. It's in the same style as Persona, but it's like in a medieval fantasy setting instead of like the modern day like uh slice of life beat em up uh I, I that one looks really really cool it has a really cool aesthetic so i'm i'm very excited about that that might change my game of the year from college football 25 hopefully hopefully that uh, like honestly there have not been any games that have really been like oh man like that that was like the best game i played except for college football this year I'm hoping, I'm hoping Metaphor takes that over. Space Marine 2 was good. I, I just good. personally want to put lot. it in like my it. game of the year. Oh, what's that over there? You can find us on all streaming platforms. <laughs> 